Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, September 18th, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I'm willing to show up in the flow of my wholeness. And the like bottom line is like, I am willing to show up in and for my wholeness in whatever form it is taking in this very given moment. We have a lot of emphasis on the given moment today with the Sun, the Moon, Mars, and Mercury, as well as Vesta, uh, all hanging out in Virgo energy. Strong, present moment energy. And I always say Virgo represents our daily reality, but this, the physical body, is our daily reality receptor. And there may be some stuff around the body today. We are building into the Sun opposite Chiron. Now, technically, the Sun opposite Chiron is happening first thing tomorrow morning, first thing Tuesday morning, it's like 12.30 a.m. that this connection is reaching its its peak. Um, but I feel like through the day and just through this process, we've been feeling this Chiron energy so strong. This to me is like the peak, the peak of this energy, filling in the healing, the healing that we need, whatever that may be in this moment. And I always say, you know, if you want to know... <laughs> <laughs> what you need healing in and of what's going on right now for you in your life because everything that's happening in our life is always bringing us deeper into our own experience of our wholeness and everything that's going on to our in our life is is part of the healing process this journey this life journey is a healing process so what's going on in your life and how how can you lend it to your personal healing in and through your life let that be in the background of your mind in intention today so that being said we have the moon building into the new moon this new this moon <laughs> building into the new moon energy is going to conjunct with mars the moon is going to conjunct with mercury and then the moon is going to oppose neptune now i find the moon opposite neptune a uh, very interesting uh connection because this is lighting up that full moon that we had just about two weeks ago, that full moon Pisces, because we had that at 13 degrees, and this energy is happening at 12 degrees, this opposition. Neptune is still in the place where it was. Uh, the moon and Neptune came together right before the full moon. So this may be bringing forth some of those downloads, some of those lessons that came up with the full moon. I know for me, there was a strong feeling of karmic release around that full moon. And uh, speaking of karma, look what card came out again, the DNA karma card. So you may have been through these last two weeks going through a strong, uh, strong release, strong sense of healing of these old ancestral energies. If you remember, I pulled the ancestors card with this card the other day, just, just to point it out. I also got the dance celebration card. This is not something to be stressed or worried about. This is something to celebrate. This is some long, long overdue healing that has been coming through with and through this, with and through this process. Your work in this, this is, like I said, with the um, energy mantra, I'm willing to show up in the flow of my wholeness. Show up for what is showing up for you at this time, and you will be working in and through this energy per uh, perfectly. Release what needs to be released. If if a storm comes through, you need to cry, let those healing waters flow. Um, and if you need to laugh and celebrate, let yourself laugh and celebrate. Let yourself expand and be present, presence is key, present fully for the experience of this energy in and through, in and through this process. The moon, building into the new moon, like I said, tomorrow, it's going to be a new moon, uh, tomorrow, 10.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, before it does that, though, Moon is connecting to Mars and to Mercury. So we just had Mars and Mercury conjunct in Virgo. Now they're separating a little bit. Mercury's like speeding past, like I've got things to do, things to explore, things to see. Um, but that connection to Mars and Mercury, even though it's at 8 degrees and 10 degrees, it's reminding us of what came up with that Mars-Mercury energy. What came up in your thoughts this week that made an impact? What came up in your thoughts this week that impacted your passion? What came up in your thoughts this week that you want to bring into your daily reality, that you want to pursue, that Mars energy is pursued, that you want to show up for 
uh, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, soulfully, soulfully showing up in and through this energy. That connection with Mars and Mercury is giving you the ability to connect with that even, even deeper. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> um, that connection with Mercury, I really like it too. That connection is at 10 degrees. So moon, darker the moon, Mercury, 10 degrees, Virgo. Showing up in this moment, in the wholeness of the moment, appreciating the worth of the wholeness of this moment, appreciating the necessity of this moment in your life for whatever it is. And going back into those questions, what's the joy? What's the good? What's the lesson? And reminding um, that we are finishing up Venus in Leo. Where is the love in this? And where can I turn to the love in this? And where can I bring myself deeper into love with myself in and through this? Keep adjusting your focus to align with that. Now, I do want to mention with the moon, Mer uh, moon Mars connection, occasionally when Moon and Mars comes together, we can throw temper tantrums. <laughs> like the moon brings up the emotions and Mars is like, I want it now. You may have that feeling come up for you. Notice what is present in this moment for you and how is it taking you into where you want to be. Keep guiding, aiming your arrow into that energy and realize that with that moon Neptune opposition, another thing that comes with that moon Neptune opposition is Neptune is always willing to feed magic into our reality but we have to be willing to expand in and through this moment and understand what's going in the, on in this moment to bring us to that place but the other key there's so much today like the healing and the showing up the being present but that other key is looking for the love and really holding that space of love like i said venus is finishing up in leo tomorrow early evening venus is shifting into virgo more virgo energy the focus the focus is so intense right now but just the same, we've had so many of these strong love lessons. Don't leave the love lesson behind because that's a really important part of the wholeness that you do want to keep bringing forward in and through all of this Virgo stuff. Um, ah, with that, I'm going to show you my other card that came out. So, karma, DNA, and dance celebration. Bring some joy to yourselves. And I pulled this, I know, for the week in the GPS. You know, singing and dancing, that's one of the best ways. When you are stuck in your head, when you're stuck in the, it's not working out for me, oh, sometimes you got to shake that stuff off. Got to turn up the music, something that resonates with you in that moment, and dance and get yourself back into the body. Get yourself into the groove. But I love that this is with this. I pulled the Stone People Vigilance card. There we go. Vigilance. And I love what this says. Remain vigilant at this time, but not out of fear. Vigilant simply means opening up your mind and senses to information as is as it is presented to you in this moment. <laughs> through your eyes, ears, physical sensations, detached thoughts, and through your sixth senses as well. It is especially true in two main areas. First, follow any gut feelings that tell you to be wary. Second, pay close attention to any important opportunities that present themselves um, one that may enhance your life and the lives of others. Maintain your vigilance of the clues around you and inside you. Assess what is emanating from your body and then sort out any conditioned responses from what is purely instinctual. Examine the situation with heart. Bring in the love. Where is the love? Intuition and mind in harmony for this is how vigilance serves you. Detach, take a breath, and stand tall in your statue like those stone people. So, be vigilant, be present in and through this energy with and for yourself. Um, to finish up, the Osho cards that I have, I've got some mental cards. I've got the control card. Now, I love the control card uh, in the way that it's like, do, do you want to be like this control figure? But here's the light. We can't forget the light. And this is where we actually do have the most control is bringing in those lessons to that degree. Where's the lesson? How is this whole for me? How is this an important part of my path? Bringing in those things instead of getting stuck in the old conditions. It's not working out for me. I don't like what's going on. Okay, wait, how is this helping me direct me to where it is I want to go? That is where the light comes in and it is on high. That being said, there may be some patience that needs to go on. We have to remember, even as we keep re-aiming ourselves, it's all a process. But look, the color is coming. The color is coming. 
be in your flow. I am willing to show up in the flow of my wholeness. Show up for this moment. I feel like Abraham with this. There is so much love here for you. That's what I feel with this card. This is the Ace of Cups. It's love begins. So here comes a pouring in, an overflow of love, love and success. Really good things are, are happening, but open up your heart. You got to get in to open up your heart to allow this flow forward, which means you need to realign your thoughts because if your thoughts are stuck in the postponement and it's not working for me and I'm not getting the dreams that I'm going to have, then you're not, then you're stopping up the flow. And we don't want to stop up the flow. So overall, be very vigilant of your thoughts because, because the mental energy, the focus energy is so strong, but you can do so much with it. So that being said, book a reading if you want to dive deeper. Uh, check out, I did GPS with Maya Canal this week, and then I did a Gaia Perspective with Nikki, yay, this week. And we discussed um, Doreen Virtue and her recent... Um, well, her recent decision to become born again and how we experienced it. And it was a very interesting conversation. So you can check that out, Gaia Blooming uh, YouTube channel or Gaia Blooming on Facebook. Thank you for joining me. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.